Good afternoon, everyone. It's been a wild couple days, uh, <laughs> I think, to say the least. I know as uh, reality has changed very quickly for us day to day, it's been hard to make plans and decisions and to try and determine kind of what the best next steps are. I know as educators, and you know, obviously I've been a teacher, uh, one of the things that I want to do as a teacher is teach, and I think that's been one of the most challenging things for us. I want to also remind everybody, this is day two of a 10-day shutdown. Um, you know, which could be longer, obviously, you know, I think, I think that's something that we're all, you know, wondering and watching, but at the same time, we all need to take a deep breath, pause and think to ourselves, okay, I'm in day two, you know, of what, of what, you know, 10 days that we've been given essentially by the governor. Um, we don't know what the future holds, but I know from speaking to many of you, your goal is to try and support our community in any way that you can. So what I'm going to ask you to do right now, I think may seem contrary to that but I think it's necessary for us to do at this time. If you reach out to students with optional activities, make sure that they are clearly optional. Uh, I also think that you need to make sure that things that the students, there are things students can do by themselves for the most part, or with minimal supervision. I think that's one of the biggest challenges, one of the biggest things we're hearing back from parents. Uh, many of our parents have shared that they're completely overwhelmed right now with life. I mean, people who are waitresses and own restaurants and, you know, small businesses that they are really, I mean, they're reeling right now with a reality where, you know, where they're not sure they're going to get a paycheck. And I think the challenge right now is when we're sending them activities that they think are not necessarily optional or things that are important, um, you know, I think the concern is that we're overwhelming them more than we need to. Um, this is a completely different situation than any of us have lived through. And I think it's important for us to take a minute and realize that, you know, pretty quickly. Um, Sending detailed packets and instructions and work and all those types of things. I mean, there may come a time for that, but right now is probably not it. I think right now it's really important that we send communication to parents that lets them know we're here for them, we care about them, and hey, if your kids are really driving you nuts, here's some things they can do. I think that's important for us to, to think about. I know at the secondary level, uh, there's a sense of pace, there's a sense of work that we have to get through and the types of activities we have to do. We have to all take a step back. Kids are not in the same reality that they've been in any way. I think also our real challenge right now, one of the biggest concerns that we have here as a cabinet is trying to identify how we manage equity. Um, you know, our kids don't all have access to the same instructional materials, supervision, technology. Uh, they all learn differently. Some of them have, you know, pretty specific learning needs. We have to, as a school district, figure out how we manage all of that before we start saying we're going online and we're going to do education online because we are required to try and provide equity and access to all kids. We're a public school. And so I think that's something that, you know, right now we don't have an answer for. So I really want to stress optional activities, uh, maybe more on the fun side and communications with parents are much more along the lines of we are here as a support system for you and how can we help you? Because I think those are things that are very important. Kids also need to understand that anything you send them is voluntary. It's not required. It can't be. You know, as a public school district, our, our challenge right now is that we spend most of our lives as public, public educators trying to take care of people, trying to do what we can do for them. And I think we want to do something. I'm not sure what that is right now. I think that's been our biggest challenge is we're not sure exactly what that is right now. And we're trying to identify the best way we can move forward and support our kids. But right now, I really do think if we send, if we send our communications out to parents, I think it's important. It's really just on the lines of, hey, we're here. Here's some fun stuff you might be able to do. It can't be more than that. I think we have to be really thoughtful about that, especially um, as we're going through this very significant change in a lot of folks' lives. I wish you all the best. Uh, I think this is probably a way that I'll probably try and communicate with you guys. Um, I think it's easier than me trying to type all this out in an email. Uh, I love this school district. I love working with all of you. We are going to get back to it at some point, but right now I just don't know what that is or where it looks like. So we will continue to communicate with you as things move forward. Thank you.